Welcome to another edition of Cody Alternatives. Today we're going to talk about Movies HD. Nice little add-on to watch TV shows and movies. It's very reliable. I think it's the best one out there right now because a lot of them buffer. So check this one out and uh, here we go. As you can see in my video, I always post the instructions in the description. So if you go to the description, there is a link with the Google Drive share I have where you can download the latest version of Movies HD and uh, vPlayer, which it uses to play some of your videos. All right, so let's do that. So when you're in my video, you go down and you'll see uh, most likely like this, click on show more and there's a description of what to do. So for more advanced users, you don't even have to watch my video. You can just read and do what it says. So again, I tell you what files to download and what to, to install. So this is the link for my Google Drive. So you just click on it. If you see this, just click go to site. And then it'll open uh, my Google Drive. You can change the view like this, which is a lot easier. And there are the files. So in this case, we're installing um, Movies HD and vPlayer. So what you want to do is just click on download. And then it'll, well, in my case, it's going to scan for viruses first and then start downloading. I also want you guys to download the vPlayer because it's what Movies HD uses. So click on that. And then you have the two files necessary for this video. So if you want to see where they are, just click on the file, click show and folder. And what you want to do is right click on the, uh, plug in a USB stick into your computer and send to, and then the USB stick. Very straightforward guys. Uh, the other one is vPlayer, same thing, send to and copy it to your USB stick. So once you've copied that stuff to the USB stick, you take it out and we'll continue with the Android box. Now that you've downloaded everything uh, from my drive, the files necessary, you can go uh, and put your USB stick in your media box um, and then go into file manager. It's this icon right here. If you don't have it on your main screen as a shortcut, go into your apps and you should find a file, a default file manager. Now, when you go in file manager, your USB stick usually has a little icon like that. If it doesn't for older Android boxes and you're not sure where to click, unplug your USB stick, plug it in again. And the, uh, the, USB will appear, which lets you know that that's where you have to go. Now, wherever you copied the files, uh, go there. Uh, in my case, I copied it to a folder called Android. And then you should have the files you downloaded from my site. So moviehd.apk and vplayer70. So all you got to do is click on Movies HD APK and click Install. It's very straightforward people it's not rocket science it's very simple so click done and then do the same with vplayer you click on that and you click install and then done so now that we've installed those two things we can go back to our main screen and as you can see we have movies HD so for me I'm gonna add it to my main screen because it's something that I use often. So I click on the little plus icon on the main screen and create a shortcut. Now I'm not going to run Movies HD right now. And the reason for that is because first you need to log into your Google Play Store. If you don't log into Google Play Store, not only is Movies HD going to stop working after a while, the V player won't update. So you're asking me, for those who are novice, what, what do I log in with to the Play Store? It's very simple, your Gmail account. If you have a Gmail or if you have a YouTube account, 
or a Google account, whichever one, anything associated with Google will work. So you click on the Play Store, you put your email. So in this case, I'll click here. You put your email. So I'll put my email in here. At Gmail. Dot com. Then you click next and then it asks you for your password. So type in your password, whichever it is for you. And once you're done, you click on that arrow again. And then you can log in. Once it's logged in, just click I agree on the terms and voila, it'll check for info and it will log you in. And then as you can see here, it gives you an option to back up Google Drive. I don't want to. I don't want to back up anything from my Android Media Box. I just use it to play things. If you guys do, go ahead and back up. I just don't need it on that. I just need to back up my phone, so I never used this at all. Here we are, you're logged into the Google Play Store, and you might notice when you go in that stuff starts to update. That's normal. Um, when you go here to My Apps and My Games, you'll notice there's some things that can update. So what I always do is just click update all. It'll update whatever needs updating and that's it. If vPlayer needs an update, it'll show up and update itself. Sometimes you'll notice at the top here, as you can see, you'll see stuff downloading. You'll see the little icon and it's going to update. All right, here it is at the top. So it's very important that you log into the Play Store so that Movies HD can function properly. Now that I've, I've done that, click on Movies HD, uh, allow, choose the account. See, this is what's important. It's asking me what account to choose. So I choose my account, click on it, and click OK. If you don't do that, you're going to have issues where you're going to get a screen and it's going to say, no connection, retry. I know a lot of you have had that problem. That's why I redid my video. As you can see, this is the updated movies list. This is a little tutorial on how to use it. Everything is at the top left menu. If you want the latest updated movies or popular movies, you click here, 3D, whatever. If you want the latest show updates, you go there. And then whatever show aired the earliest, it should be there. Now, if you don't find your show here, don't worry about it. You can always do a search right here at the top right. And uh, same thing with movies, you can do a search. So if I go to movies popular, these are the popular movies trending right now. And me, I always stick to the update because I like to watch new stuff that gets released, even if it's crap, like the, the Assassin's Code maybe, who knows. But anyways, uh, Red Sparrow, that's a great movie. How about you watch that? It's very straightforward. You can also filter by types of movies. If you don't want to see everything, all types, you can choose sci-fi, fantasy, action. Let's see, action. See, it changes everything on the screen. I'll just put it back to all types. All right. So now that I've done that, uh, it's pretty straightforward. When you want to play something, you go to it, you click on videos at the top, and there's all the episodes of the show. You click on it, and then you'll get three different links. If this one doesn't work, just simply click on the next one and click play. All right, for copyright reasons, obviously, I'm not going to do that. But just to show you an example, if you do click play, 
it'll start, but it'll give you a little ad at the beginning. So when you get that ad, just press the back button on your remote and then the episode's going to start. All right. So it's pretty straightforward and the same applies to movies. Of course, you go to a movie, you go here, videos, and it gives you the quality. Now, the reason why I like movies HD is because nothing is under 720. And it, so if you don't see something posted on here, like a movie, but you see it on other ones, well, the other ones have a cam version or really shitty quality. This one is 720p or above. And that's why I like movies HD the most. So again, it's very straightforward. Thanks for listening. Check out my other videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and like them. Take care guys and have a great day. To exit Movies HD, just press the return button on your remote and then click on OK. Take care.